Hi guys, welcome to God for It Life channel. I hope you're doing great. In this video, I am talking about the difference between folic acid and folate. So if you watched my video where I am talking about great health benefits of folate, you've often heard me saying folate and folic acid. Well, of course, if you're pregnant, you do need to make sure that either one is in your uh, diet or dietary supplement, and you will benefit either way from folic acid or folate, but there is a major and or significant significant difference between these two and even the doctors sometimes are you know using them interchangeably and uh, it is important for you to know that this is not the same thing before going into details I will just say that if you are looking for a good folate supplement make sure that your dietary supplement has folate listed in the uh, list of ingredients instead of folic acid. So now, what is the difference between folate and folic acid? So basically folate is a term that used for the group of water-soluble B vitamins or it is also known as vitamin B9 and folic acid is used as the oxidized synthetic compound which is used in dietary supplements uh, most of the times or the fortified foods or processed foods. The major difference of this two is the absorption. Basically folate, a natural form, it is biologically active in your body and it will be properly and easily absorbed in your small intestine. Well, folic acid on the contrary will not. The problem with folic acid actually is that if you are a man generally or if you're a woman past the childbearing age, if you are consuming, um, if you are taking supplements, uh, with folic acid, you know, always, all the time, on a daily basis, you don't give it a break, basically you might uh, get too much folic acid in your body. The problem here is because it is not uh, properly uh, sort of digested and metabolized in your body and in your liver and your small intestine there has been studies done which prove that there is like the excess of folic acid unmetabolized found in your blood. This in turn can lead to different problems like B12, vitamin B12 deficiency. It can even lead to certain types of cancer. When I'm saying that folate is uh, biologically active in your body and folic acid is not, it basically means that folic acid is not, uh, cannot be found naturally occurring not into your human body or not into any type of food. So this means that basically every time we're hearing uh, the great health benefits of folic acid, we basically hear the great benefits of folate. And then this is for for you a very important decision to make. Well luckily there are tons of different foods that are uh, really rich in folate. Uh, the two most important uh, types of food uh, that you could incorporate into your diet would be spinach or liver and of course there are others too. Also you could again fortunately find a dietary supplement that has a natural form of uh, folate not folic acid although it is not really that easy to find one because folic acid is something that is easier for the manufacturer to use it is cheaper um, so that's why um, most of the supplements contain folic acid instead of folate. Well, unfortunately here, most prenatal supplements, they still do contain uh, folic acid. Well, it will benefit your unborn baby, right? But it's not gonna give your baby the same benefits as the folate would. Um, I can put in the description down below the link which explains everything like scientifically. So, you know, if you wanna be really an expert. But saying it in a simple language, when you're taking um, a dietary supplement, um, with folic acid or if you are eating foods that is fortified with folic acid, it is shuttled uh, over to the liver where only a small percentage is ever even going to be converted to the usable form and the usable form of is folate. Same thing happens with, uh, you know, if you're pregnant, folic acid will not cross the placenta the same way as the folate would, but it still will give your baby certain health benefits. So if there is no way for you to find, you know, let's say, a, a supplement, dietary supplements that has folate in it and you only can find something ha that has, you know, folic acid and you're pregnant, you still need to go for it and you still will get the certain health benefits so this is absolutely yes in this case but if you are again a woman uh, past childbearing age and if you're a man in general and you're thinking that you need to supplement with folate for these of that reason you can watch my video for all the symptoms or if the doctor is recommending you that this supplement will re really uh, give you great health benefits by all means please do find the supplement that contains folate not folic acid. And again here I would just say that our body is a very smart thing, right? And uh, man-made um, 
supplements are not the same thing as natural supplements, right? So basically, if you're consuming a vitamin, it not called, it could not only be it could not only be folic acid in this case, it could be anything, any other vitamin that is too much in your uh, body or you know a synthetic vitamin. Your body is not able to use it, so it's getting stored, and this sort of causes the disbalance, and disbalance is not a good thing in the body, so everything is good in moderation, you know, people say it for a reason, and you do not want to depress your immune system again and have other problems like, you know, decreased um, B12 vitamin, which is also very uh, important for your health. So basically, to cut a long story short, I think this explains everything pretty well, and now you are an expert in some way, and you could tell a difference between um, folic acid and folate. To boost your natural intake of folate, on a daily basis, you need to uh, try to eat uh, such um, um, greens as kale or collard, you know, spinach, if you are, if you tolerate them well, on a daily basis. You could add liver into your diet two, three times a week. You could add fermented foods and fermented veggies. It's a really uh, great source of folate as well. So I guess this video was um, at least helpful and informative, as I'm sure it was. And you will always make a wise choice, um, you know, towards supplements, because uh, they do need to be taken wisely and when you just enter their uh, health store and you see all those bottles with supplements, you know, it uh, doesn't automatically mean that it is a healthy thing, especially when you might not even need a certain type of supplement in the first place. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I wish you to stay very happy and healthy. If you like this video, please put a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later.